afternoon or evening everyone it is sunday it's sunday the 19th of july and it's 20 to 8. some people asked me if i would tell them how you go about ordering glasses online so i said i would do it and so this vlog i've been promising for ages but this vlog is about uh, ordering your prescription online so first of all when you go to the opticians and the optician tests your eyes now i'm not sure if this is the same in america or usa or canada or where any other country but this is what we do in the united kingdom you go for your eyes tested and the optician has to give you a form like this and the form like this puts your name and address details on the top which i will turn over and then underneath that it says prescription or statement now, i'm not sure if you can see that prescription or statement prescription yeah prescription or statement and then here that's not it's basically saying that my prescription has changed but then further down you have this little bit and this little bit gives the details of your left and your right eye now it's not very easy to see so I'll, I'll take this off here and I'll film it this way so I can see what it's doing. Basically you have your right eye and your left eye and in my case my right eye has minus 375, minus 150, minus 25, minus, uh, and then the axis is 170 it doesn't say the prism and it doesn't say the base and it gives the same measurements or not the same measurements because if you look at that one that's minus 375 and that's minus 325 so one eye is actually weaker than the other and I'm not altogether sure which one is which I think that's the stronger eye and that's the weaker eye in fact I'm nearly sure that of that because I can see better with my left eye than I can with my right and it says recall two years that's basically what they've said now so these are the in, this is a, a bit of information that you need um the reason i have two numbers some people will just have possibly the bot the top number that is because i have uh varifocals and this is telling me the strength of the varifocals that i need for to see close up my right eye needs to have a magnification of 150 and this one of one but notice the minus in front of it. I don't, I'm not quite sure what that means. But when you come to filling in the form online, you need to put the minus on. Or you need the, it actually goes, there's like a, a column going up and down. And it has a baseline of zero. And then it's plus up on one way and minus on the other. And you choose your minus in this case for mine. Now then, then, so you've got, I've got my measurements for both of them there. Now the next thing I need is my measurements for my glasses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, these are my latest pair of glasses and I need a ruler. So let me just find a ruler. Where... So basically you choose your favourite pair of glasses that you know are comfortable and then you measure them. And you measure them from, from one side to the other side there. And in my case that is, oh, let's get it, it's about 130. Then you measure the length of the legs. So the length of the legs is roughly around one. 130 as well 130 and um, then you also may need your pupil distance pupil distance is the distance between that pupil and that pupil it's called a pd and what you have to do is you may have to get someone to stand there you stare direct at them and they measure the pd between one pupil and the other and basically you've got to look at one place there and you measure the PD. I think mine is usually about, if I remember right, it's about 60, 60 mil. So that's what you need to know. Uh, what you also need to know is possibly the size of the lens shape that you've got. So this one is roughly 50 from, 
you can see 50 mil from left to right and in this case by about 40. Now I'll put these on because this particular pair is 50 by 50 wide, each little thing is 50 wide by 40 and I think that that's quite a nice size for my face. If you get one that's much higher it's going to be probably very big and what well, you can get them but uh, there were some in the 60s or 70s we used to have what you call oh what was her name Deidre Barlow glasses and they were really big ones and everybody wanted these big Deidre Barlow glasses but they were so big they used to catch my cheekbones and irritate my cheekbones because they kept rubbing against it so really you basically want a, a lens that is that you feel comfortable with um this pair of glasses that I'm wearing has a different strength in it because that, this is basically this pair I usually wear for looking at my computer then looking at my notes looking at my computer and my notes which and I think it's it has some uh the the cater for the glare of the computer in this particular pair of glasses my other ones that I have I've ordered ones that are varifocals which means that they like the bifocals where they've got the magnifying bit in the bottom and the normal view at the top. You can't see the uh, the little mark that distinguishes it being magnified below and, and normal above. And also I have glasses that are photochromic. I think you call it photochromic. So basically when I go out in the sunshine, they darken like sunglasses do there are different forms of photochromic ones and there's different prices i generally go for the standard ones because i i go for what they suggest you can go for better but if you go for better it costs more obviously and i can't afford to go for the very big expensive ones but if you've got the money go for it go for the better ones i suggest that when you go if you're going to be buying online for the first time do not spend a lot of money go for something fairly cheap this pair and the other pairs my latest pairs were only 12 dollars $12 for the frame and then by the time they had the lens on I think it came to about $80. Now $80 is a varifocal that changes, uh, that darkens with the sunshine. I thought that was good because if I was buying them in England and I was buying them in an optician's they would cost me about three to four hundred pounds which is about Five, four, five, five hundred dollars a lot of money to pay for something but because you're sending away for them I always say get for the first pair to make sure you're not going to feel that you've wasted your money go for something cheap if needs be don't even go for the var go for the varifocals if you need varifocals but don't necessarily go for the change of the the uh, photochromic ones because you want to make sure that they're right and if you've spent all that money and you decide when they arrive you they're not very nice you don't feel they're right then that's a lot of money that's wasted i have tried several opticians online opticians i've never had any problems with quite a lot of them but i've and i've gone from one to the other because i happen to like a pair of glasses that they did uh, but i found my favorite ones are the zenny ones they're not, uh, I, I bought them a lot because they were frameless ones and these ones that I've been getting lately, I like the shape, I like the colour but there are other ones that I've seen from other companies that do equally as nice ones. Sometimes they're a bit dearer, sometimes they're a lot cheaper. Um, but I, I think I have tried about five different opticians online. Two or three I would say I'm happy with and two I would say when they came they were nice the glasses were nice they weren't as nice when i got them as i expected them to be but because it didn't cost too much i didn't feel that i had wasted too much money plus bear in mind that the price you're paying for this might be the equivalent of paying for a dress if you were buying a dress at the shop so if you didn't like a dress you would probably wear it for a few weeks and then put it away or give it away uh, it's the same with these glasses i have lots and lots of pairs of glasses that i have and i've i've got some yeah the pair of sunglasses i got last year when they came the i wanted big sunglasses but they were enormous and um i do like them but they're very very big and i that whilst i like them and i will wear them I'll be looking forward to the time when I decide to change them. <laughs> so, 
what I'm going to do is follow this on with a little video to show how you go online and how you order online the glasses online. I'll probably go for a pair that I already have that you've seen before and that will give you an idea of what it, what you know what they what they look like. Now that and the other thing that I need to tell you is I can't remember. Well, oh, the other thing is, before you do anything, get yourself in front of your camera, your mobile phone camera if you want. And um, I haven't got a mobile phone here, but let's say, say this is my mobile phone. Get yourself in front of your mobile phone camera. And if you've got one of these phones that has a timer on the top, so put press the button for camera, then it has a little timer, mine has a timer up there and I can set it to three seconds. So basically I will put the camera in front of me like that, I will set the timer for three seconds, then I'll press the button and get my pose right so that I'm smiling or I'm looking straight on and then it'll click and take a picture. And that picture can be uploaded onto their website so you can see roughly and it will be roughly because sometimes the, the glasses look smaller than your face when actually they're bigger uh, but it gives you an idea of what that's going to look like on your face. Um, I think the Zenny one, if you examine their website well, and I haven't done this for a long time, they actually have this section that tells you to look at your face and look at which glasses suit you best. So I have a squarish jaw and uh, a, I would say a longish face with a squarish jaw. And for, for that reason, I suit better glasses that are wide, glasses that are um, often, I well say these ones, the glasses like this that are wide. I suit, um, I've got a pair up here. Let me show you what these are like. Um, glasses that are wide this is a pair of reading glasses that I got and this kind of pair suits me I also got this pair but when I got it I like I didn't I wasn't so keen on them because they are if you see that the, the actual the actual um, the actual lens is slightly deeper and I much as I like them in one way I'm not as impressed with them as I am with my other ones and it's the colour scheme. I thought the green and the brown would be quite nice but mm, not overly enamoured by them. They don't come out of my box as often but I don't mind because I haven't spent a lot of money on them. So um, bear that in mind that whilst you might like the colour, if it's something that you haven't gone for before and I have had a few pairs that when I've got them a bit like those things that you order online and as soon as you take them out the packet you think oh god they're awful and I don't really want the fuss and bother of sending them back but I will wear them I'll get my money's worth out of them one way or the other so um anyway make sure you choose a nice one make sure your picture it looks good that you haven't got a grumpy face like that and you haven't you know make sure that you're kind of in the pose that you would normally be make your eyes sparkle a bit and then when you when they do you upload your photograph that matches with the glasses that you're wearing and you can get a rough idea of what it looks like so i'm going to stop here and i'm going to go now which is that way i think or is it that way i think it's that way um and you'll be able to see how i order these glasses online so, till the next time, bye! Okay, for this particular website, I click enter www.zenioptical.com in the search bar and I come up with their web page.
And the window pops up where you can st uh, give them your email address and they'll keep you connected. I'm going to the women's glasses and I shall click on shop all glasses. And that will take you to all of the women's glasses and you can scroll down and you'll see all the different styles that they have. I'm not going to go through all of them because you can have a search yourself. But this one on the left here is the one that I've purchased. I've actually purchased two pairs of this one and it's £12.95 $12 and there are several colours. So let's click on that one. This one is the clear with floral design on it that I already have then you can get a clear pair completely then a pink pair a pattern pair and I have that one and then a floral pair so you can turn it onto 360 degrees so it gives you a chance to see exactly what it looks like when you rotate it all the way around so that's a good way to look at them and then you close that window when you've examined it enough uh, let's go to the one that i picked which is the floral one same thing you can have a look at it and it's actually a see-through but it's got a lovely flower pattern on it i like this pair i find them very comfortable and as you see they're 12.95 so we come to below that details description and reviews so we'll look at the details it asks you for the pupillary distance, minus 60, so well, that's fine. The prescription range, that's within my range. Progressive and my focal, that means if I want a progressive pair, yes, it's going to work for those. Full rim, cat's eye, and material is TR. Now, what is TR? Let's find out. And so I thought I'd look up what is TR material for glasses and it's a thermoplastic material that is very strong. Okay, so returning to the glasses, it tells you what uh, you can have it engraved on the side and it's lightweight and uh, it tells you what kind of glass it's for. Then this is the important bit here on the right, the frame size. You need to make sure that it matches or is very similar to the measurements that you already have on any glasses that you've got. And the weight is very important because some can give you headaches if they're too heavy. The description tells you about what the, what the glasses are made of, what they look like, and underneath that, sorry underneath that shows you examples of other glasses you might like to look at and here's the range i quite like this end one here i'm just going to click on that and let you see what it looks like if you want a trendy pair of glasses that might be worth having anyway let's get back to where we were and if you scroll further down you come to some examples that people have posted of them wearing those glasses few pouts there but you get the idea of what people look like wearing that particular frame of glasses so uh, then I want to try it on so if I'm going to click on this right hand one now where the lady's face is and it says try on now normally I would have made my make put my makeup on made myself look a bit better but I'm just doing it as is here it says Align your face, take off your glasses and tuck your hair behind your ears and then click. Right, so I'm, I'm moving it down. Record, it says record video. So don't forget to look at the, where the camera is. And then the voice asks you to slowly turn your head left, then slowly back to the middle again, and then slowly turn your head right and then back to the center again. And it'll tell you if it's fine. And then it says, against your forehead, put a piece of plastic and take a picture. So I didn't have plastic, so I had card. And I held it with one finger. I'm not sure why we were doing this, but then I clicked take a picture. And then it goes through the numbers one, two, three at the top. And there you go, excellent, it says. So it starts creating my facial image and it tells me that I have a nice shaped face that can take any kind of frame isn't that great woo go to try on so 
It asked me what my pupillary resistance is, and that was 60. So I put that in there and I submit. And then you get to see what my glasses look like on with me. Look to one side, look to the other. Did you notice I've already got a pair of glasses on the top of my head? What a wally you look like. Fancy that. Two pairs of glasses. I'll... My father used to do that. He used to have about three pairs on his head and could never said he could never find them. There. Well, anyway, that gives you an idea of what they look like. You can try another pair on, click on another colour, and that shows you what that one looks like. So you get an eye, a rough idea. I mean, whether that, I think that would probably look better than it does. But let's try the pink ones on. And there's the pink ones on me. I think... Not bad, I suppose. I wouldn't normally go for pink. So then, as I say, you've got the, these other examples underneath. You could go and try something on there. So let's see if there's one that I want to try on. Which one? Oh, go for this massive pair. This, is, this big pair of Deirdre Barlow ones. I do like those, but they're, I think they're going to be way too big. So let's go for that one. Oh, look at the colour of that. I am going to look like... Um, oh no, who is it? Not Danny LaRue, uh, the Australian guy, what's he called? I can't remember. But uh, I will look a bit of a wally wearing these. So here you go. It take, it's taking a while. I'm getting a bit impatient. Yeah, ah, there you go. Look at those glasses. Don't they look really dapperish on me? <laughs> wow. Oh. I should get them just to see what they look like in real life. <laughs> I've moved on to a spotty pair just to let you see what it looks like. I'm going to try, let's try the red ones on. Let's try the red ones first. So we'll go to try on and there I go. I'll pop up in a second with a pair of red glasses on. There you go. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, if you go to another colour, say, for example, I'm going to scroll down now and they do blue and green, but I wanted to try the green and nothing's happening. And the reason for that is if you look at that orange bar at the top, it tells you it's now deserving, a, a, it's having enjoying a well-deserved retirement. In other words, it's out of stock. You can try a different colour. There's the blue ones. I could get those blue ones, but they haven't got the green ones. OK, so going back to these clear ones, I've now decided these are the ones I want. I can click on reviews and see what the reviews say. Uh, some people, it's got a 90% review. Some people will say they're not happy about it. There's always somebody who's not happy, but most of them, uh, you'll get an idea of what they're saying and whether they're worth buying this person didn't like the the pattern on the glass i thought I, personally i think they're fine but each to their own this young lady looks rather nice with them on and uh, she's given it a five star so different people will give different views and it gives you an idea of what they think of them okay so now i'm going to choose it so i'm selecting the lenses and in my case, I'm already prescribed to this. So I'm going to open my um, my lens, my prescription. And so by opening my account, I have it's it's automatically filled in my prescription. So there's my 60 for the pupillary distance. And here are my measurements for my right eye and my left eye. And I've asked it to magnify it by 1.5. My prescription said 1.25 for one eye and 1.5 for the other, but I kept it at 1.5 for both. Now you can get standard lenses, you can get mid-range lenses, and you can get near range. The near one is the one that I use when I'm working on my computer, but you can't use it for driving. It You may find it's quite blurry if you're trying to use them for long distance. That's if you're short-sighted. So let's select this one, the standard lens. And then I scroll down and I submit the prescription. You would have entered your own prescription details in and it, it comes up with them and gets you to confirm that that is right. So check again and make sure that that's the prescription that you want. And once you've got it, it says, does this match your prescription? I can confirm it.
Then I scroll down it and asks you what kind of lens you want. And it tells you standard eye lenses. Now that's if you just want a plain lens, if you want clear glass then these are the standard eyeglass lenses. And they give you a recommendation for the frame that you've gone for. That's the best one to go for. You can go for cheaper, but you may not get as good a, a, a pair of glasses. Do you want lens tint? Well, that's if you want sunglasses. I'm going to get port, uh, photochromic, so I don't need to select that. But that just basically shows you all the different lens colors that you can get for sunglass type lens. I'm scrolling down and you can get blocks lenses and they have blocks photochromic. Um, I've never normally bought that, but that's the recommendation for the blocks ones, blocks digital. I've gone further down and I have gone for, if I can get down here to it, um, I'm not going for polarized lenses. Those are the sunglass type style again. I'm going for the photochromic lenses. And so what it does is it gives you a recommendation. And the recommendation is this one in the middle. So I'm going to click on that because I'm going to have them do because they've recommended it. I think, you know, opticians know better than I do. So I'm going to go for photochromic. And when I clicked on that, if you had clicked on a previous one, it removes that one. So you're not doubling up on it. So then it goes, there's my $75 one that I've added. And it, there's an example of what photochromic lenses are like. I've gone for grey because I like grey coloured. Uh, you can go for browns, you can go for whatever colour you like. I'm a sucker for grey. Anyway, that is the one I've picked. And if you look, there's the $12.95 for the glasses, $75. And it comes to $87.95 so far. Then you... I always go for a, an anti-reflective coating. I prefer to go for the dearest one, which means that it doesn't show your fingerprints. It's really quality uh, coating on it, oleophobic. So I go for that, which is fourteen ninety-five. You can also get clip-on sunglasses, but I don't need that because I've got photochromic ones. And then you can get them engraved on the inside of the of the arm, or you can get them engraved on the outside. The first pair that I got that was clear, I actually got my name put on the outside. And you can choose to do that if you want to. Um, then you agree that you've that everything's right and it comes to £102.90. You add to the cart and that is what the cost of the glasses are going to be. There will be an extra charge for carriage, but... Um, I think it is around about 10 to 15 dollars more. So basically this tells me that I've got what I've got and they're saying do you want to add a second pair to it? Uh, you can if you, do you want a different uh, glasses case and they say it comes to 102.90 and if you've got a promo code then you can add that. So basically I then now, I usually open up another window and find dollars to pounds. And it says $102.90, but I'm not au fait with American dollars. So I put $102.90 and it comes to £81.28, which I think is really reasonable for a pair of photochromic glasses, some spectacles with uh, varifocals and... Um, a nice choice of glasses and that if I was buying it in an opticians would cost me a couple of hundred well 300 pounds I think it would be so that gives me an idea of what it's going to cost there will as I said before there will be an extra charge for the carriage I haven't gone any further because if I click to say go go ahead and and uh, pay for it to find out what the carriage is then I'm going to be committing myself to buying these glasses which I already have but it does say take note that because of COVID-19 there might be a slight delay in getting your glasses